All right, here we go. Hello, 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 everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoy watching the stream as usual, and um, yeah. So I guess uh, here we go. We're gonna take a break, take a little break from uh, my Soul Silver run, because um, we I don't know, just for shits and giggles. I wanted to play some Harvest Moon, so we're gonna play some Harvest Moon. But yeah, uh, if you like Harvest Moon, if you like Pokemon and Nintendo, any of that stuff, and I'll probably end up playing some other stuff, but. If you like story games, stuff that's interesting, or just like relaxing games, then be sure to uh, sure give me a follow, like, subscribe, whatever. Let me know if you like what you are watching, if you would rather watch something else, you know. Anything under that sort of variety is, uh, is good for me. I like knowing what you guys think. Uh, I gotta get back into my farming mode. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so let's figure out what I'm doing. I would wager I need all this crap. Not that. And I'll go and feed the bear today, so that'll be cool. Since I magically, apparently, have uh, fish already. So that's nice. Um, set myself up relatively well, it would seem. Alright, so... That sickle out. Oh god damn it. I, I honestly hate when that happens. It's really small, like a really small thing, but it's annoying at the same time. So yeah. Let's go ahead and take care of my chickens. Oh, what's up, Ben? How you doing? Mr. Excelsior! <laughs> How's it going, man? Alright, so. Chickens. Start. I guess we're starting with Zapdos. Kuno. <laughs> Zapdos is already sparkling. Uh, he fucking talked to me. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get Moltres. Knock those, knock those uh, legendaries out real quick. This is a legendary chicken, in case you guys didn't know. Torchic. So Combustion and Blaze get my last two. And I believe they're right there. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Throwing food in everyone's face. It is a, a, a bit annoying that you can't put feed back into the uh, silo or whatever the hell you want to call it. It doesn't really make any sense. It's like, well, you took it out, you're never going to put it back in there. <laughs> what a great system. You're fed, you're fed, you're fed, you're fed. Two more. You're fed, you're fed. Okay, cool. So they're all good. They are all good to go. care of my sheep. Oh, it's all fluffy. Glad I brought my uh, thing on Bob with me. My clippers. Let's go ahead and pet you real quick. And we'll talk to you. I like how fluffy it looks. <laughs> Makes you just want to like hop on it. 
Okay. Nice. Got that wool. Alright, sheep, you're naked now. Sorry about that. So I don't need to do any of that stuff. Oop! I do want to do this, though. funny how you literally just need an egg in this game to make mayonnaise. It's like, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. <laughs> Could be wrong. Not exactly the most time efficient day. Oh yeah, I need to <laughs> You forgot about my uh my mayonnaise gifts to uh Selena. <laughs> That's so great. Why I mean why wouldn't she want, you know, eight million things of mayonnaise? She gets like three a day. She should count herself lucky. <laughs> it's totally what I would want as a gift every day. <laughs> I literally give her mayonnaise like every single time. <laughs> Why on earth would anybody ever want that? I don't know, but she does. <laughs> Until she stops thanking me, I'm gonna keep giving it to her. <laughs> Alright. Got them strawberries poking out. Maybe I should buy some more strawberries. I could buy four more. I believe there's 600 a pop. Oh, not right there. There you go. Probably should cut those weeds while I'm here. What's up, Mimai? How are you doing? Yeah, four would complete this bottom area. Well, this one chunk, I should say. Uh, I don't know if they're open Saturdays. Let me go check. Actually, I can just call, but let's run up to the bear. Actually, if I go to the bear, I'm not gonna have time. Let's go ahead and check and see if they're actually open. I don't even know if I can make it up there, to be honest. We're gonna try it. I'm just gonna run straight there. YOLO! Wish I had a pony. Alright. I'll always love playing. 
playing these games just because like the music's so chill like there's there's no real objective it's pretty much just like build an empire and have fun and it's so relaxing kind of it, it's definitely a great series for sucking you out of reality you know just uh just relaxing escaping the real world for a little while That's what I was thinking. Alright, so the seed place is closed Saturdays. I think, I believe they're the only people that are. It's okay. So, I caught some fish. We can go give those to the bear. I wonder if I can give all three of them to the bear. That'd be nice. I don't know if I'm, like, restricted at all. But it's definitely something to check into. Yes, sir, Mr. Waka. This is definitely a relaxed day. Yeah, I did a uh, two day two days of Pokemon, both of which I think had um, like legendary either legendaries involved, Claire, or the Elite Four. <laughs> so I'm on I'm on a hiatus right now from the Pokemon world. How you doing, dude? Welcome back to the stream. Alright, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and run over to the bear. I guess the bear is kind of my priority right now. So I guess I'll come back. Put whatever I need to into the, um... The bin, and then, um go fishing <clears throat> it's a, it takes a while to make this bear uh, not attack you basically I'm excited for when um, that day comes around then I won't have to, I'll be able to go past it I think there's uh, another rainbow person like another uh, forest harvest sprite whatever it's called um, Actually, I can't remember if I cooked the yellowtail. Nice, dude. From the gold chest or for the gold chest? In Borderlands 2. I know that, like, if you go on their Facebook page, on Borderlands' Facebook page, they have, like, a shitload of codes. You just scroll down and copy-paste, and you can get a lot of keys that way. For, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But yeah, it's really nice that they come out with stuff like that. And they actually started doing something different for uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel. Where you can actually get like unlockables, like skins and stuff, for different events. So that, that was pretty neat. Um, I haven't actually done any of that in a long time. But uh, I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to go back and just scroll through and unlock a bunch of crap, really. Alright, so I definitely want to cook this guy. I don't think I've cooked it before. Um, so I guess that'll be something I do when I get back. In the meantime, I think I'll, t I'll go the long way. Save myself some stamina. I can fish more that way. Good Jacob's weapons, pretty good. Nice. Yeah, Jacob's weapons are really fun. Um... I got to the point where I played it so much that, like, I, I just kind of got bored because I'll specifically aim for, like, Jacobs pretty much exclusively. And eventually I was just like, well, fuck, uh, there are all these other weapons. And so I, uh, I actually veered away from Jacobs and was like, fuck it, just give me a weapon. <laughs> just started using everything. And it was cool, too, because in Borderlands 2, they have all those badass points you can earn for, like, the extra perks for your characters. Which is also really nice that they have that sort of system. And the fact that it spreads across all your characters is really cool. Really well done, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Alright. So now... I want to see if... 
I can cook this fish. Or if I have cooked this fish. If I haven't, I'll hold on to it. Yeah, so the badass points are definitely worthwhile. Um, and it, it's fun too, because it's like, it's basically an achievement hunter type of thing. Where, you know, you just play and slowly um, unlock stuff. And it's cool because, like, as you're unlocking stuff, you accrue those points, and then the points fill up, like, a, se a completely separate experience bar. And every time it levels up, you can pick a specific trait to, like, increase or decrease. So, like, decrease, like, like the, uh, the delay for your shields recharging or to increase your melee damage or, you know, anything like that. So, it's a really cool system. I really like the way that they did it. Not this one. Decent mayonnaise, I'm gonna keep that. Oh, I forgot to put the wool away. Yeah, you probably have a bunch, because they just... It's not like they even fill up either, which is really nice. Like, you can just go through and level up back to back to back to back to back and just pick a bunch of different perks for yourself. So, yeah, I, re I really like the Borderlands games. I think they're really well done. See, I didn't even check to see... Well, it doesn't really matter. I can just cook it either way. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because as long as it's cooked, I can still hold on to it and feed it to the bear tomorrow. Or to the turtle, really. Either one of them. That's why I checked at the very beginning. Was... Oh, that was the last time you checked. Jesus. <laughs> the very beginning of the game. Yeah, I would imagine you have a lot by now. <laughs> My god. <laughs> That's nuts. How far along are you into the game? Like, what is going on as far as your story is concerned? Just to give, get an idea of how far along you are. It's been a while since I've gone through the story, so I may not remember, to be honest. I could still go give this chick some mayonnaise. <laughs> Priorities. Got me some flounder, alright. Alright, I, I do want to go gift this girl. Give her, give her all the mayo. You just killed the bird, okay. You still have a ways to go, then, I think, if I remember correctly. But still, like, yeah, you're really far into the game for not checking your points at all. Oh, shit, she's already in the end. Listen here, girl. I won't say what you killed, just for the sake of spoilers. <laughs> just in case someone's watching. Alright, Selena. Take my fish. Or mayonnaise, sorry. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Take the mayonnaise. <laughs> it's so funny that she'll just take it. She's a dancer. Wow, how many does she take in a single day? That was four. Five? Jesus, I'm all out. <laughs> Let's see what, what her happiness is at now. Only three, okay. That's, that's better than two. I'm still mad that, like, it, um... She gets so mad at you for skipping out on the date. Which I totally did on accident. I'm still mad that that happened, but whatever. Giving white stuff to girls. <laughs> yeah, man. That's how you do it. That's how you woo them. You just cover them in mayonnaise. <laughs> Alright. 
Alright. Now. There's flounder. I may as well just go ahead and cook it too, just in case. Because why not, right? It's funny how you never have to replace this wood, but you set fire to it, like, all the time. You set fire to it every single day. Let it burn for the entire day. And it'll never... You'll never have to replace, replace the wood. It's ridiculous. Unless, of course, it's like a hidden thing and they just take um, stuff out of like my inventory. Which wouldn't surprise me. Um, some games will do that. Like, because there's the building materials where you get the stone and the lumber. It'd be funny if it like took a lumber every time you lit it. Yeah, this game's definitely worthwhile. In my opinion, it's really chill. It's really fun. There's a lot. There's a lot of content. As far like in my opinion, there's a lot going on. Let's go ahead and put all the animals away real quick. I was gonna say it's kind of quiet tonight, but it's just uh, I haven't streamed for too long yet. So gotta wait for people to hop on in here. It's really funny how many people like watching, like either Harvest Moon or Animal Crossing. Let's see what other games does it play? Yeah, no, I, I don't doubt it, dude. Work is always a uh, a fun killer. Well, not always, but depends on what work you do, that sort of thing. Mr. Fishy! Buffer fish, yeah, definitely caught one of those. Definitely would have to cook it as well if I wanted to feed it to anything. It's kind of a bummer. Whatever. Alright, bedtime. I could sell... I feel like you can use the seaweed for something. The seashell I could definitely sell. Used in miso soup. Yeah, you can definitely use this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Waka. Today I'll def I'll be better with my um, time management and whatnot. If I don't need this stuff right now, um, actually I may hold on to this that way because I do want to go into town. And if I do go into town, I could probably go like a long way and just um, yeah I'll cook the puffer fish. And um, then I'll go by the inn. So we're still going to do the animals first in that case. All right, we have a plan. Let's go. me to charge it up as far as XP is concerned. Pretty sure it uses the same amount of stamina. Yeah, it does. Alright. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Welcome back. 
from uh, ye all bathroom. <laughs> oh, I got some. Uh, I got some silk today. Torchic, combustion, sweet. Making it easy. Yeah, I can. I guess I can do that. There, there. Let me knock out Blaziken right quick. It's not in Blaziken. Hello, Blaziken. Where the hell are you? I guess it's this guy. There he is. I knew you already came out after there, this. There. What are you up to right now, Waka? Lukina, Zapdos. <laughs> there, there. Or I guess what were you up to today? That sort of thing. packed up all of mine recently. I meant to um, look at what I had so I could throw you some suggestions on maybe something that I had or that sort of thing, but I don't remember. I'm like slipping. Sometimes it's like, yeah, I totally know exactly what I'm gonna do, step by step by step. But sometimes it's like, what, <laughs> what, what? I'm doing something? It's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right, now I'm let all them out. I'm definitely the opposite, considering like all of my games are basically Nintendo, <laughs> and then I have zero PlayStation games. Sunday, we can't get a recipe just yet, so we have to wait till the beginning of the week, which sucks, but whatever, that's the way it goes. Alright, that other set, yes, whoops, I probably should have picked that um, thing of silk up when I headed over to the barn. It's Sunday in the game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And I definitely wanted to go cook the... Uh... Puffer fish. So he can be edible, that way he can feed it to something along the way. I'm gonna go throw mayo at this girl's face. 
What if like you could actually throw items at people? That would, that would be great. <laughs> Take it! <laughs> I'd throw the cheaper mayonnaise at her. I don't want to waste my money. Alright, so let's go cook this fish right quick. I'll give Selena as many, um, as much, or I guess as much mayonnaise as I can get. And then I'll sell the rest. Um, then I gotta go run up to the store. Get that pumpkin fish out. Alright, here we go. I need to go ahead and start fishing at, like, the lake. So I can, um... What do you call it? Go ahead and grill all that stuff up, too. How's the heat? I actually haven't really been outside that much. Um, I'm definitely a homebody as far as what I do with my day is concerned. Like, I don't really go very... I don't go anywhere, for the most part. If I go anywhere, it's like grocery shopping. <laughs> and usually that's like a 10 minute trip, 20 minute trip, something like that. So, I mean, the, I do go, I'll do like working out. I'll work out like in my garage, which is where like some of the heat is, but it's not awful. And it, it helps like make me sweat more, which makes my workout more beneficial. So that's kind of nice. Waffle Square area. Oh. Uh -oh. I was like, what the hell? And then it hit me. How about you, dude? How you liking the heat? What the fuck? How is Hamilton? I don't think I saw a Hamilton go up this way, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Take my mayonnaise. <laughs> Oops. Cool. She's not like super pissed at me anymore. It's always good. Take it. So five is the limit. It's good to know. So I cooked my fish, gave all the mayonnaise to her. I think I might just start selling some of my silk, considering I feel like I have like way more of it than I do um, of my wool. And I need it in equal amounts in order to make um, a nice rucksack, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and run on up to the seed store real quick. I'm trying to think. I guess I'll go feed the bear. And then I'll come back and just fish at this lake. Alrighty, man. Well, I'll be here. Not going anywhere. Okay. Um. That's right. I'm gonna buy five more strawberry seeds. I need to pick up a hoe, strawberry, I want four of them, absolutely, I wish I could get a fifth, actually a fifth would be kind of excessive since I'd only be able to water that one strip.
probably should talk to people when I see them more often. Nah. <laughs> Just be super antisocial. <laughs> Sorry to be here, right? Okay, I wanted my hoe, that's what I wanted to get. And uh, till up, what, three more spots? Probably, maybe even a, uh, a fourth. Cause I, I already hoed up one spot, one of the rows, I should say. Um, so I may not have to do that one, hopefully I don't. Head on over. I'm really, really glad I bought this side plot. I do have that other one too, now that I think about it, but um, it's not really worth my time, I don't think. Plus, I don't have money for it. I've got a little treat up there, but that's about it. Alright, cool. This one is untouched. I'm okay with that. So beat. All right, now. Money? Money? Question mark? Please? <laughs> Uh-oh. Level up? Ooh. Yeah, I leveled up. What? I didn't. They didn't level up. They just randomly find one. That's pretty cool, I guess. Or maybe it did level up, and I just didn't notice. Let me let me take a look real quick. Skill. Oh, level. Yeah, no, it didn't level up. What the fuck? That's really weird, actually. Everything's level three, though. I like that. It takes, it takes a good chunk of time to get these guys all leveled up. Alright. Let's go ahead and throw these guys out. I wonder if you just randomly find a power berry. If that's the case. But yeah, that was kind of weird. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'll, I'll take it. I'm okay with that. It's going to be super nice having all these strawberries. Hopefully that breadfruit will get me some money as well. Alright. Now. Yeah. Let's water these flowers. Oh, I'm empty apparently. But it will go. I'm totally lined up with that, that row. <laughs> totally. Alright. Oops. Got it. Alright. Let's fill this guy back up. It's nice that my um, breadfruit's already come in. Some of it has, which means I'll get more tomorrow. Go ahead and fill up my water for tomorrow. Pull these breadfruit off. We'll be good to go so we can go fish. Or not fish, um. We can go play with that bear. Uh, what am I doing? I guess I don't need anything. Perfect breadfruit. I'll take it. This is 
is a good land. I like it. Alright, now. Let's go run some fish up here. We'll come back, throw everything in the bin, and then we'll go fishing at the lake. Mount Gelato. Wonder if Selena's happiness went up anywhere at all. Nope. Come on, Selena. How many how many mayonnaise does it take to win your happiness? <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good stuff. if he likes this or she likes this puffer fish. I'm assuming it's a mama bear. See if we can drop off two more fish. I know, I know, I know it'll take this one, and hopefully it'll take a third. That'd be really nice. Take it. <laughs> I, lo I love the guy's face. Like it just, it never gets old. It's like, oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it'll actually take it. We'll see. Nice. That's cool. I didn't know it could take three in a day. I'm okay with that. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that's really nice, actually. Maybe we can speed this up a little bit. Alright, so let's go back to my house. Been a pretty productive day. Did everything I wanted to, got some new crops. And we actually have some time left over. We can go fishing. Ballin'. You know, the, the camera in this game for me is kind of like, most of the time it's good, but like that spot right there when you're coming back, like in that spot right there too, they're not, not the best implementation. My, my critique. <laughs> I don't know, I'm picky. I've had a bad experience with cameras because of uh, Super Mario. God damn. Especially, I like, I, I complained about Super Mario Sunshine's camera. Holy shit. Like, in comparison to Super Mario 64, the camera in Sunshine is, like, perfect. <laughs> like, the one in 64 is awful. I don't, I don't understand why... But that, that's the thing that, like, blows my mind, though, is, like, there were games in the same time period that had better cameras. And... I don't know. It was it just doesn't make sense to me why the camera sucked so much. Because, <laughs> like, I, like, for example, the Zelda games. Like, I... I didn't mind the camera in those games. I just got used to um, uh, pressing Z or L, depending on what console you're pressing it or what console you're playing on, and to to lock on what he's looking at to adjust your camera. And 
that was enough for me because it gave you you just turn them a little bit and then it gives you a 360 degree um, point of view like you can rotate around and whatnot but like there were there were many maps in Super Mario 64 where like there was like a quarter of your window or a quarter of the screen you couldn't even rotate to because it wasn't within the like camera's rotation ratio I guess and it's just like good lord like so bad literally like a quarter like you would, you would start like this way and you could make it like back all the way to like here but there would be like this chunk that you could never look directly at <laughs> When I found that out, I was just like, dear fucking god, like, I mean, why, you know, like, I don't know, but, because, and that's the thing, because, like, some people say, well, it was the first game, blah, 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 but, you know, then I, my argument is usually, like, well, look at Zelda, you know, like, I never, the camera in Zelda never really bothered me. But yeah, my my rant about <laughs> Mario for the day. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I know a lot of people love the Mario games, but it's just not. To me, they're just kind of okay, you know. Um, I like you know games like Metroid and um, Zelda. I like those like significantly better. I guess I like the RPG more than I do the platformer, is what it boils down to. Though, I mean, Samus is a platformer, or Metroid, I should say, is a platformer. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, it's, it doesn't really make sense to me why I, like, because I, you know, I love Metroid. Absolutely love Metroid. But Mario, not so much. Oh? Ooh, nice. I'll take it. I wonder if I can even charge it up that much in this little lake. Two and three. Damn. It's so far. <laughs> what the? F I hate. I hate that. All right. Well, I guess it's time to uh, head on home. I gotta figure out what all I've cooked and what all I haven't. Maybe I'll just cook everything again. I'll do like the same path, sort of, except I won't go all the way to town. I think that should be satisfactory. And we can feed the bear and whatnot a little earlier and fish more. Sounds like a good plan to me. Possibly? I don't know. I think it is. Oh, okay, cool. We got a decent amount of money. And it is raining. That's nice. I don't have to water anything. Right, so I have all this stuff. Oh, I wanted to check my recipe stuff. Let's see if I have the uh, freshwater prawn or whatever the hell it's called. I believe I do. It's just this guy. Yeah. Freshwater prawn. Crawfish. What else do I have? Um, oh, I never cooked a clam yet. Well then, I don't know what these things are. Yeah, I know that that's a lobster. That's in the ocean. I have to like max out my fishing level in order to catch that one. What are the other fish that I have? Short prawn, big scale redfin, and crawfish. Yeah, there's no way in hell I haven't cooked a redfin yet. 
All right, so we can feed all that to the bear, except for the uh, <laughs> the boot and the can. I don't think the bear would appreciate that very much. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and feed the bear first, and then I'll just keep my fishing stuff with me. Take care of all, all the animals. Let's not put that. I don't think I'll need those. Let me check and see how much yarn and stuff I have. Four versus six, and I just sold one of those. These are decent though, that's the downside. I'm not really sure how it works. Welcome back, Waka. I'm going through my options as far as uh, figuring out like my uh, items and my days and whatnot. annoying. I really wish I could call that guy. Let me see. Flex. See. Yeah, give me that. Oh, I cannot call Taylor until he arrives on the island. Well then. Yeah, I have to have a guy arrive in my town named Taylor. That sucks. But yeah, welcome back, Waka. I'm like trying to figure out things as I go. Um, Alright, let's go take care of the animals real quick. I can't cook anything, but that's okay. I don't really need to. Oops. Kinda need that. I probably should go ahead and take care of that other lot as well, just in case. What are you trying to make? Okay, so like, in order for me to upgrade my rucksack from now for the rest of the game, technically, um, I have to collect silk yarn, or, yeah, silk yarn, wool yarn, and flax yarn, I believe is what it is. And, um, I've been, the way you get the flax yarn is by flax seeds. And the only way you can get it is by having this guy on your island and you have to call him. And he's not on my island, so I can't, I obviously can't call him because his number's disconnected. I thought that I was just out of season, you know? I thought I was in the wrong season to call him for some seeds. But apparently that is not the case, sadly. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to just go ahead and work on getting my rucksack upgraded as much as possible. Torchic. Oh, shit, who the fuck have I talked to? I need... I've talked to Tor... I've talked to all of the... Okay, I know who I've talked to. Moltrace. Zapdos and Articuno are the ones that I've talked to right now. Yeah, dude. Uh, I found, I just found out, I guess I had missed that detail before, that you have to wait until a guy named Taylor shows up on the island. So, it'll, it'll be a little while before that happens, I think. Alright, chickens. Just let me pick your eggs up. Let me steal your unborn children. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up when you think about it that way. Just a little, you know, like... It's just kind of okay. <laughs> Alright. At least I get to sell my perfect mayo. That's nice. But yeah, the, the downside of the yarn stuff is I think it depends on the quality of the yarn. At, at, at first, it doesn't, I don't think. But I think the further you progress, you need more and more um, 
or increasingly better quality yarn, I should say. So, that's always fun. Alright, now I gotta feed everybody. I don't know if I talked to the worm. I think I did. I'm gonna do it again anyways. Notice me! <laughs> Alright. Articuno, here's some food. It reminds me of like the, uh, what is it, like Pokemon Ami? Where you can like pet your like your Pokemon and that sort of thing and feed them like biscuits and shit and it's like you can feed like these legendary like god Pokemon and you're just feeding them little biscuits. <laughs> it's just like the funniest thing. It's like what the hell. Alright, now. Well Trace, you need some food. Is everybody full? That's four. Yep, everybody's good. And I got all of my mayo, so yeah. Let's go on and take care of the sheep. It's raining today, which is really nice. I don't have to water anything. All I got to do is cut shit down. Then weeds and whatnot. The name of the silkworm is Wormhole. Named after Pokemon, per usual. <laughs> Let them out, they'll get mad at me. So we're not gonna do that. Definitely don't want my animals to be mad. Cause yeah. <laughs> Their quality of stuff will go down. What do you think they do? They just like go out in the rain and be like, oh hell no, and then they just like scratch the quality, like scratch the shit that they normally lay or whatever. <laughs> Fuck this <God>. guy. <laughs> Really funny. Alright. We can pick some flowers today, that's cool. Got me a two there. So I bought more strawberries, I believe, while you were gone, Waka. Check out all this stuff. All of this, except for these tulips, the strawberries, and then this is bird fruit. All right, so I picked some tulips. I didn't, I want to try to make some red perfume again. I don't know why it messed up last time. Kind of annoying, but the way it goes. I used two red flowers, which is the thing that like blows my mind, but whatever. That's the way it goes. Check this mixer out. Yeah, so it should be this one. That's the one I want. I don't know what that one is. This is just a generic. Yeah. As long as you put like two flowers in, you'll get the uh, purpley one. Alright. So let's try and make this fancy stuff real quick. Alright, so it's two red tulips. Let's try this. Uh, yeah, look at that. Like, it's not... It's just a regular perfume. I don't understand. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Apparently roses are the recommended flowers to do that with. I don't know. I guess I'll give her the perfume and then some flowers. She apparently really likes that stuff. So, works out to my advantage. Alright, so what did I want to do? I wanted to give her stuff and then take some fish to the bear. So we're gonna go we're gonna go the same route, I guess, as I did the, the day before. Though I don't know if they're open on Mondays. We're gonna figure that out. What's up, Toby? <laughs> you look like you've been getting enough naps. That's the right way to live. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, you look like a lazy piece of shit. Nice job. <laughs> Get 
damn, yeah. I definitely needed to uh, take care of this area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the bar or whatever the hell, the inn, is actually closed on Mondays, sadly, so I just want to check to make sure. Oh, wow, it's not. Okay, cool. I'm glad I checked. Alright, here's some perfume. She doesn't seem to like the tulip any more than the mayo, so I'm just gonna give her mayo. <laughs> Oops. Understand what it why it says cook above her head. Give me a recipe, lady. <laughs> please <laughs> Pretty please. Oh right, yeah, so let's go ahead and throw this stuff in a box. I believe I talked to everybody. What's up, Frozen Lee Chi? Welcome back to the stream. Yep. Good luck, bro. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Whatever. I don't know if I want these tulips. This nectar is used to make honey. Hmm. Gravy. Let's go throw some fish at this bear. We'll be good to go. Take it, bear. Please like it. I <laughs> just like jumped it back. No, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
How about this one? You still hungry, bear? Bear. Mr. Bear. Oh, oh, it's a baby bear. What the hell? <coughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I'll take it. Give me all this stuff. Can I go in there? <laughs> Knock, knock, Mr. Bear! Ooh. Oh, there's a sparkly thing over there. I done seen it. How do I go over there? Oh, there it is. Cool. I don't remember getting over here before nap time apparently game over <laughs> in a dream what's up harvest lady whoa so bright it hurts <laughs> Please help me. Help! I have to find some seed, apparently. I wonder if that means Taylor's gonna show up with the magic seed. You better have my flax seed. <laughs> that's what matters. <laughs> it's the only thing. The only thing that's important is my flax seed. He sleeps weird. I wasn't even laying down. You know, I'm pretty sure that's the only time in the entire game you ever get to see this guy actually asleep. Sweet. I got two of these today. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, give me that power berry. Yeah! Yeah, look at all that stamina. That's ballin'. Can I go further? <laughs> Whatever. I like the music here though, it's real peaceful. I wonder if I can go fishing there. There is water. <laughs> it goes from raining to like nothing. Yeah, check this out. It's not raining here at all. It's really weird. I'm gonna go fishing. Wow, you can go fishing here. I wonder if they're actually fish. I'm just gonna assume that there's no fish here. I don't feel like waiting. I honestly don't remember that place at all. Like, I don't, I don't believe I've ever been in that area. So that's kind of cool. It's always cool to get uh, first times on stuff. All right, so let's go this way.
All this stuff's good to go. Uh, what do I want to do? I kind of did want to go fishing still. I still have this stuff, so I can feed... Sweet, I can still feed my turtle. Look how bright that crawfish is. Good lord. Damn right you like crawfish. Alright, so I guess let's just go fishing. I'm gonna throw this stuff in the bin when I'm done. And yeah. Actually. I don't want to catch stuff in the ocean. I don't think I caught stuff in the ocean at the beginning of the year last time. So we're going we're gonna to change that a little bit. Level 4! Alright. I'm surprised at how quickly the fishing pole caught up. Kind of crazy. Horse mackerel. Flower festivals today. Well, I mean, I have a ton of stamina. And it's not going down very fast. You could just load up on horse mackerel. So I've given two fish to the turtle already. We're gonna try for a third, if not more. Not the puffer fish. That's for sure. We'll get one more. You know Maz? Take it. Wow. Apparently you can only do two in a day. That kind of sucks. Kind of. <laughs> Not really. Kind of nice, honestly. That means I have two days worth. And I can sell a puffer fish. Alright, cool. Now, I guess we go to sleep. Flower Festival, we gotta check that out. I guess I'll do that after I take care of all the animals. Good night, game! Sleepy time! That's when someone shows up in the morning. I feel like someone will. Let's go! Nope, nothing. Alright, so I wanna get, what, six... Yeah, I want to get 3,600, and then I, that'll be the end of me buying strawberries, which is kind of cool. Then I'll have an, an approximate ass load. <laughs> Alright, so, I think I actually still have all my tools. Nope, not all of them. Need that guy, and potentially this guy. Alright. So yeah, we don't have to take care of the bear anymore. That's kind of cool. 
Take care of my turtle. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just work on getting my, my turtle as a pet. Okay, so let's cut this stuff down. Oh, oh, oh. Why is it not going invisible? What the shit, game? Okay, so it's right there. Alright, cool. That was kind of weird. I don't know why the tree was refusing to be uh, cooperative. But, whatever. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, this one refuses to turn invisible. Well then. Whale then. Articuno. There, there. Zapdos. I didn't realize how much feed I bought. Like, good lord. I know it's cheap, though, but still. I bought a shitload of it. and Blaziken. And I need to feed everybody. <laughs> there, there. Chickens are fucking cute. I still, I don't know. I don't know why. Chickens are just fucking adorable in this game. There, there. Oh, we're at it now. I gotta feed everybody. I really wish taking the, the chickens outside would feed them. But, it's not a perfect world, I guess. So definitely need to go to the flower festival. Oops. Hello, take it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't move! Sweet. He wasn't far enough into the door where I couldn't feed him. It's always nice. I guess that's it for feeding people. Let me check whoever this is real quick. Alright, cool. Um, no silk that I can see, which is good. I don't have to. Well, I'd. Yeah, I don't have to go back to the barn once I come and pick stuff up, which is always ideal. Just get that brush out real quick. What's up, Mr. Sheep? There, there. That hay in front of the, like, Flappy is probably stale as shit. <laughs> Sucks to be him! Her, whatever the hell gender it is. I'm just gonna guess it's a girl, considering the, they have the, the miracle potions. <laughs> Probably just a big bottle of sperm, um, which can have your animals give birth to other animals. So I'm guessing they're all female. No idea. All right. Um, let's go check on this other stuff. It is time for the recipe. I could do that. Probably should, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and take care of this stuff first. Doesn't take that long. Especially since, like, while I'm charging up, time doesn't pass, so that's always nice. So it's literally just, like, between... Um, the time between uh, watering sessions. However long it takes for me to realign myself. One more, and then we fill up. I 
still don't know if using like charging it up uses more water. I feel like it does, but I'm not. I don't know. I've never really tested it. I know a full charge you can do four times, but outside of that, I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous how long it takes for the um, watering can to level up. Like honestly, like I, I've used it probably every single, well, just about every day, unless it rains. And it's like there are things that I didn't get until like halfway through the game that are the same level as it, or at least like really close. So yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. Alright, so these are the only things I can pick. So we'll go ahead and just pop them. Pop them off. Maybe I'll keep the good. There's not a lot. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It means I get to make more money. Alright. Cool. Go ahead and pop these fish into the turtle real quick. Oh, he's over here. Up, turtle. Ba -da -ba -ba. There's a pigeon over there. That's cool. I want a pet bird. <laughs> Alright, let's put all this garbage away. And then I can watch TV. It's my favorite thing to do. I didn't pick up the mayonnaise stuff. Lame. All right, we definitely need to do that before I go into town. Uh, so the breadfruit went in here real quick. Sweet, we have eight now. Uh, TV, TV, that's all I need. I need, need my, my cooking channel. <laughs> Rainbow cooking. Jesus, that's complicated. Chirashi sushi. An egg, rice, mushroom. Was that a crawfish and an eel? I like mushroom. Conger eel and rock lobster. Jesus. A cutting board? Really? Wow. <laughs> well then. You creepy girl. Teaching me all the food recipes. Alright, now. Hold on to all this stuff. Actually. I don't want to go mining. So we'll pop the fish in here real quick. Process it and whatnot. Throw it in the mayonnaise machine. Oh, All right. One, two, three. That is not what I wanted. That is another thing I didn't want. Jesus, stop. Three, four, five. Oh, shit, where's six? There it is. Six. Tomorrow we'll go get the last of the strawberry seeds. Day 10, that's not bad, we still have more than half. Almost two thirds of the month, really, to grow stuff. So it works out pretty well. Alright. 
Let's run into town real quick. We'll check and see what the flower festival's got going on. Let's see what I need for my recipe stuff, actually. So Alan's is the one that I need. Toadstool, I have Woodfish, Green Bell, Austinase, and Carrot Cake. So let's check. I, I feel like I have the Toadstool, Green Bell, and the Carrot Cake. Let's make sure. Yeah, let's make sure real quick. I don't know what the fuck a Woodfish is. I have to look that up. So there's a Carrot Cake, Green Bell, a Toadstool. Just like I thought. Um, so I need Austinase and um, the Woodfish. Woodfish. Jesus. This is a shitty post. Then... I know how to get the uh, woodfish now. It definitely sounds like a struggle. Holy shit. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Shit, the bitch. There we go. So, yeah. I'll try and catch two. Apparently, according to the interwebs, um, you can only catch the woodfish at the spring. I just, uh, opened up the Harvest Goddess Spring. So you have to, um, you have to make the bear happy and like you. You have to finish the, those two rainbows in order to get over there to begin with. That's a lot. That's a lot of prerequisites. And apparently the fish itself takes a lot of stamina. So that's kind of a bummer. I wonder how rare it is as far as um, how much it costs. It may be a good place to go as far as making money. It's like when the game or when the day is over, you just run up there, catch some fish. Never know. Maybe worth upgrading my pole before I do that though. Though I do want to buy the um, the seeds before I do that, which I should be able to afford tomorrow. Alright, let's check and see what this flower festival's got going on. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot special. Throw some de decent mayo in this chick's face. Take it!
You seem well. <laughs> I showed her. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to everybody. What's up, Granny? Hamilton! <laughs> Colleen! The world would be a much less pleasant place without flowers. Oh uh, yeah, probably. A lot of the bees would probably drop off and die. <laughs> and then we would run out of a lot of the food that we eat. Uh, yeah, that would probably suck. That would suck a lot. Which ones I like lavender the most? Yeah, whatever. Whatever chick. Hyacinth. Tulip Moondrop Lavender Red for food. Hello. Good lord. Made with only blue flowers. You get blue flowers. <laughs> Purple flowers. Some summer. Yellow, yellow, purple. Maybe I'll get some of the purple seeds. Yeah, I'll get two. Fuck it. Why not? Why would I buy herb seeds? That's kind of dumb. Why would I plant these? Yeah, I can just pick them up whenever I want to. Well, not whenever I want to, but I can just find them. No sense in planting the damn things. What a waste of money. All right. How do you talk to Gil? Why are you here? I'm not at the festival anymore. What a what a party kill. Buzz kill. Something. Party foul. There we go. <laughs> I'll make up my own fucking slang. It's fine. <laughs> Mr. Wetzel, what's up, dude? What's up, man? So I found out a handy dandy little secret that I can catch a fish in a very specific spot. It's kind of cool. Apparently, it's really rare and I need it for one of my recipes. So we're going to work on getting that. I'm gonna try and um, let's see what the Ostenes. Ostenes. I don't remember how it's spelled, but. Oh, hello. Ostenes can be bought at the flea market. Sweet. Alright, I gotta figure out. That's the last Sunday, I believe. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Plop. What are you up to, Wetzel? How you doing? Welcome to the stream again. Good sir. <laughs> Trying to check out who's in the chat. Come on, game. 
I remember when I needed a char. Alright, well, my uh, thing is lying to me. Just chilling out. That's cool. I can sympathize with that.
let's go. There, there.
Hello? The video is still fucked up. I don't get it. Why is it messed up? Whatever. I'll do it in a second. That sucks, I've been like talking to you guys this whole time. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know the camera stopped. I'm trying to work on getting it fixed. Video capture properties. what you're doing there it goes all right cool Ugh. yeah I'm not concentrated anymore that's really annoying I didn't realize that it was frozen like that sorry about that guys but yeah how's it going K-Mac how's it going Leon how are you guys holding up how was y'all's day what are y'all up to right now No, dude, I had no idea why. I, I had no idea that, that it was frozen like that. Um, okay, so she's in the Maple Lake District, so I need to go over there. God, that's... Oh, actually, I need to go and buy stuff right now. Right now. I'm sad. I'm actually pretty sad. I don't know how long it was like that. So, uh... <laughs> shit. <laughs> Ugh, I, I hate when stuff like that happens. I ought to uh, keep an eye on that more often. That's good. That's good, Leon. Glad you've been doing well. Alright, we're gonna buy six seeds. And we're gonna get the hell out of here. We're gonna throw a mayonnaise at this chick's face. Since I spent a good chunk of my day trying to uh, fix my camera. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Apparently I'm interesting to watch, even if I'm immobile and silent. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. That's the thing, like sometimes one only one will mess up. 
Like, because most of the time what happens is my, um, my mic and, like, my camera are fine, and I mess up the desktop audio. So, it's, um, it's not often that the camera's the problem. So, that's, uh, kind of surprising. It, it does things sometimes. Whatever. Whatever. Well, how's it going, guys? <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> That's really funny. Like, you guys just thought I was, like, super serious. <laughs> uh, I'm just, like, it's just, like, a pissed off stream. Like, <laughs> hardcore, hardcore Harvest Moon. That's what it was. No, no, I was, I was totally here. It wasn't frozen. I was just super, super quiet. Just really into it. I was in, I was in the zone. All right, where's she at? She's a waffle town. But yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. I hope you guys have been doing well. Speed run Harvest Moon. <laughs> that would take days, man. Like, imagine, like, the speedrun was to, like, get your first kid or whatever. Like, to get a kid. Well, if that, what if that was your speedrun? Dear Lord, that would be the worst. Alright. Here, take this. You look like you were just into your game. Dude. <laughs> I still think that's hilarious. <laughs> No, I, I, I'll never be... Well, not never. Not for this game. This game, I would never be that into it. <laughs> to not talk to you guys. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I was, I was like, talking to you guys. And, like, I just thought y'all were, like, busy. Because uh, typically y'all wouldn't respond. Unless y'all would talk, like, say something else. And I just assumed that's what y'all wanted to talk about instead. So we're, we're, we were both just like assuming all the wrong things. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. All right, <laughs> so we got my seeds. Uh, I bought six things of seeds, which means that's the rest of... Um, how to marry every girl in two days. <laughs> well then. Alright, um... That'd be nuts if you could actually do that. What do I want to do? I guess I, I want to feed my turtle first, so let's whip out one of those. Char and Rainbow Trout. I did still want to go and try and fish another woodfish up. Fucking Karen. Stop it. Eat it. <laughs> Turnips for days, man. Alright. This guy. Let's see how far along my turtle is. Four still. Cool. Could be worse. Alright, today is strawberry day apparently. Oh, I need my hoe. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, I guess we're not going to the uh, woodfish thing. Oh well. Give her good mayonnaise. I just gave her decent mayonnaise, man. You know what I mean, Ao. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this stuff in here. That guy. Uh, I don't need my brush. I don't think I need my axe. Don't, definitely don't need my shears. I need my hoe. I need my hoe! <laughs> yeah, no. I give her as much decent mayo as I can, and then I give her, 
Um, if I have less than five decent, I'll give her however many good I need to. Hopefully that's like zero. <laughs> I'm trying to make money. <laughs> but goddamn, look at all these strawberries, man. I'm gonna make a fucking fortune. Fortune 500. <laughs> That's rough, dude. <laughs> well, I guess there was something I could have cut down with my axe. Oh well. Alright, so we have all the seeds that I want to plant. This should be full, so we're gonna go ahead and use it. Well, I guess decent stuff, you know, whichever. What? It's empty. Oh, what a crap. Look at all those tulips, good lord. Can's level is at right now. I know it's level four, I believe, but I wonder how close it is to being capped out. Check it in a second. Guess I don't really need to water these anymore. I don't know if they'll die if I just leave them alone. I'll keep them watered. I want to get some honey out of them. How does he make it? Yeah, dude, I have, I have no idea. Dude, he's, he's a god, as far as uh, watering crops is concerned. <laughs> he's a magician. Maybe while I'm over here, I can just run and go fish. Gotta water these last two things, and then I can ski-daddle on over. Trying to catch one, that's all I want. And then I'll cook it. What if it burnt? Oh my god, I'd be so mad. I would be so mad. Alright, I don't have my fishing stuff with me. That really sucks, actually. So I have to run back. Gotta go grab it. Yeah, it definitely does not make sense why he can uh, rain, rain uh, water all over his crops, <laughs> but I'm okay with it. It makes my life a lot easier. Was what what I was showing you? Oh, the giant fish? Yeah, that thing is... Um, it's called a wood fish. I don't know why it's a thing in this game, but apparently I need it for one of my recipes. So, but I'm I'm assuming because of how difficult it is to catch that it's really expensive. So I want to go ahead and uh, catch another one, and see how much it sells for. So, as far as all the pet stuff is concerned, the way you acquire pets is um, you have to get their heart rating up to uh, 6, and then once they hit like 6 hearts, um, 
they have a chance of going home with you and you have to say whether or not you want them to come along. And if you say no, it'll never give you that option again. So I have to make sure. Yeah, dude, my money is all gone from all the um, strawberry thing, all the strawberry seeds I bought, but I definitely need to make sure I select the right option when I'm getting the, um, the turtle. Whoa now, Mr. Wetzel. Uh... No, this is an adult's game. There's baby making and whatnot. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a girlfriend. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, Mr. Fish. Yeah, dude. I gotta get Tortimer, man. He's gotta come home. He's been gone for so long. I'm gonna be a little sad if I don't catch anything here. I don't think I will. I think it's too late in the day. Do we at least get to see the sex scenes? <laughs> Damn. Uh, no. <laughs> we absolutely don't. Just kidding, we do. It's a little bit of a spoiler. <laughs> Too far, you say? What if we went further? <laughs> this ain't the Witcher. <laughs> That's funny. What if this is just like a, a really elaborate Witcher mod? <laughs> Crunch. Well, let's go pluck some strawberries. And then get the hell out of here. We're gonna go to sleep. I always judge the, the timing wrong as far as coming over here. I always assume it doesn't take as long as it does. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Perfect strawberry, alright. It is super late in the day, good lord. Hopefully I can get all these strawberries before it switches over. And I should be able to. wants to keep uh, I'll keep whatever good strawberries I get this time and then I'll sell all of the strawberries I get in the future God damn it. I wish this guy would pick up shit more often Ooh, Lamart is back it's over it's finally over <laughs> that's funny welcome back to the stream you missed my uh, serious concentration mode <laughs> Holy balls, that's way too many strawberries for me to just keep. Yeah, we're gonna sell all of those. Make a lot of money. Lots of money. Make lots of money. Anything else for the money? A friend of my friend. <laughs> Does that sound cool? <laughs> I'm gonna pluck your strawberries, baby. Baby. Whatever. Yeah, definitely not a good innuendo. <laughs> not at all. Damn. I didn't even get that many strawberries, really. I've got way more that are in the works. It's pretty cool. Alright. So we got some money. Let's 
go. Alright, um... So yeah, I guess let's just start it over. Oh, I need those. <sighs> Do I want to go mining? Yeah, man. Strawberries are like one of the highest yielding crops. That's why I like spent all my money for the first like basically two weeks of the season. So what's the end goal of this game? That's a great question. I have no idea. I would assume it has something to do with like getting all the recipes wrapped up to like um get the harvest goddess back to normal and all that stuff i would assume it's something along those lines but i've actually i've never beaten this game before because it does have like a main story and um i've just never done it before so let's pick god damn it articuno how are you that close where i can pick you up like that's insane Alright, Articuno. I guess we can do Torchic. Finish all the rainbows and see. There, there. Yeah, no, I figure you can play after that. So the, realistically, there's not an end goal. Like, I can just play it forever, really. It's kind of like Animal Crossing in that there, sense, there. you know? Like, you just play as long as you want to. It's weird. <laughs> Marrying all the waifus. <laughs> What if you could do that? You could be like a polygamist and have like five wives. There, there. Or maybe maybe four, one for each house that you can get. I think I need to talk to police there, again. There. Are you wrong? Maybe I just talked to him. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Alright. Well, let's talk to Wurmple. There, there. Oh, okay. I was making sure that my camera didn't lock up again. It looked like my mouth was moving, but I couldn't really tell. So, we're, we're in the clear. We're good to go. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna, like, paranoid from now on, where it's like... I'm sick of polygamy jokes. I feel like there's a polygamy joke in that statement. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't understand polygamy I, I couldn't do that that sort of thing personally I feel like you'd have to have a pretty significant ego to be able to do it maybe that's just me um, maybe that's just my opinion but I feel like that would be the case talking about dirty stuff in the chat. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of all this decent shit. Come on, silkworm. Get it together. It's <laughs> funny. Oops. Gotta get all that shit out. Selena's at four. Damn. Five. Holy balls. Wormpole. Jesus. Get your shit together. <laughs> Selena's at four. I don't think I noticed that before. Totally straight. <laughs> 
Sure, sure. <laughs> Oops. sheep has a thing for me i'm sure it's it's kind of a tilted sort of thing because there's like more interactions you can do with your like barn animals because like, you can brush them talk to them and feed them rather than just talk and feed to them and apparently the brush has like a significant swing on how happy they get but yeah i wish you could brush the other i wonder if you could, that'd be cool if you could brush like the little animals <laughs> Can't brush a worm. <laughs> All right. I didn't put the good chicken in. Whatever. It's going in the bin. Let's just sell that. We'll keep all this. Need to water everything. After I go into town real quick. Well, not town, since she's at the Maple Lake District. But you get the idea. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Right, right, right. Anybody know what the... Wait, what? Wonder Pets? I have no idea what the fuck Wonder Pets is. It sounds familiar. It's definitely not something I ever played, though. Not because it was bad or anything, I just... I have no idea what it is. girl take my mayo <laughs> oh it's a tv show okay yeah no <laughs> no idea Take my May yo. It's funny that you can give her so much shit in one day. I'm glad I found that out. Alright, so I guess we're gonna take her farm now. And then we'll go jerk it in the mine for a while. I think I'm gonna see how far down I can go in it. Just for shits and giggles. That's good. Gotta get rid of that little tree. Cause fuck you. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Mm. Water, water, water. Let's water all this shit. I guess you guys didn't have a childhood. It reminds me of, like, the Only 90 Kids fucking shit that I see all the time. It's like, Only 90 Kids will remember, like, when Ash got his Pikachu. And I'm just thinking, like, I watch, I can watch that episode anytime I want to. You know, it's like, doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> it's almost like saying Only 90s Kids will remember when the sun goes down. 
or like when it comes up or anything like that. It's like, all right, crazy, like whatever the fuck you say. People eat that like f fucking crack though. It's like, yeah, man, nobody understands how it feels to be a 90 kid, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> whatever. I just kind of uh, move along. I sip, sip my tea like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Alright, so there are no bees yet, which is kind of odd, but whatever. Yeah, I'm an old motherfucker. I turn 25 in 10 days. 10 days, everybody. Kick the can is yeah. Kick the can is fun. I haven't played that in like a solid decade. <laughs> no, it's, it's not been that long, but it's getting there. Yeah, we're in our forties and fifties, give or take. Sell this perfect bread for you. I'll keep the other eight, and I think I'll just uh, sell the rest of it. Anything else I get from it. up turtle <laughs> let me know how many you get Waka Wow Wetzel your uh your cousin is deprived you should just tell them that let's have a meet up and play kick the can <laughs> we all just meet up in some random location in the middle of the country Wow, K Mac, what the fuck? I actually didn't realize that Kick the Can was like something that was outside of our little bubble of friends. <laughs> it's funny. Look at me, I'm fancy. I've, I have three badges now. <laughs> I'm so fancy. That's my three buttons. Alright, um, yeah, so let's throw all this crap in here. I watered everything, I believe, so I don't need any of this stuff anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we're just going to go to the mine. I want to check the calendar real quick. I want to make sure that the flea market is the uh, last Sunday. I'm fairly certain it is. Yeah, it is. 22nd. Alright, we got 10 days. Good lord. That's not gonna happen during this stream, that's for sure. That sucks. Yeah, badass points are definitely vital. Vital. I can't cut a freaking plus symbol. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll live with my uh, mediocre plus sign. It fits because I'm a mediocre streamer. <laughs> it helps so much in the first playthrough. Yeah, it, it does help a bit. I don't know if it helps dramatically, though. 
So I wouldn't beat yourself up too much about it, honestly. <laughs> I'll do what I want. Max got a point, Lamar. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, sweet. So I think I made it down to like floor 30 last time. I just behead everyone who points it out. <laughs> Jesus. Ruthless. <laughs> Don't be mad. I didn't mean it. <laughs> It's <laughs> funny. Give me that staircase. <laughs> nah, you're harsh, dude. Oh, fuck. I feel like that statement needs like snaps. <laughs> no, you didn't, girlfriend. <laughs> All right, floor twenty-two. Uh, I guess we can smack some stuff. Damn it. Not okay. There's a hole. No, I don't want that. I want a hole. Damn it. There's a hole. Yeah. Fifty nine, Jesus. Yeah, that's that's a lot, dude. Sweet. I'll take those pitfalls. 31. We're making our way down. In the bottomless fucking pit. Whoops. Whatever. 35. 
Yeah, that that would probably make a pretty big difference. But yeah, uh, well, I don't I don't know still, because it's not like you can put it all into one category. You know what I'm saying? And it only goes up by like 0.6 percent per thing, or like something like that. Probably not even that, honestly. Let's try and find a way down. Not that. Son of a bitch. Whatever, that works. <laughs> Floor 40. Ooh. Everything's blue and white. I wonder if that's intentional. Kind of weird. Oh god, speaking of blue and white, no! Make it stop. Every day I'm staggering. <laughs> I'm high off those mine shaft gases. That's not down. Good lord, four floors. I'm sad. Oh, apparently floor 36 is a mushroom floor. It's good to know. I'd actually been looking for one of those. YOLO. <laughs> Straight back. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Whoops. I wonder if there's even a bottom. Like, good floor. 40 floors. The last one had 30. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Floors are massive too. It's kind of ridiculous. I wonder if that's worth trying. YOLO. Nice. 45. Wow. Still. It's still going. Jesus. I'm scared to try that. Good lord, look at all the purple. Kinda cool though. Forty-nine, Jesus. I'm gonna wager that's a steam, steam thing. Holy shit, this place is huge. Well, I guess I gotta go back. No shit. Oh my god, I quit. Let's try it again. Yeah, there we go. Go down, down, down. No, not one floor. Jesus. It's 120. I should just leave. I really want to go to like 450. I want to see if there's anything down there. Good lord. 
nine. All right, let's try and find a, an exit. Oh my god. Wow. That sucks. One floor down. That sucks. It's cool that all these are like specific colors. It's kind of neat. Well, not all of them, but you get the idea. <laughs> Hole in the ground, hole in the ground. Damn. Can't pass that up. Well then. <laughs> I just missed out on two things. That sucks. Whoa. I really just want to find the exit. That's how I got, can get into this floor. How the fuck do I get out? God damn it. Please. What the fuck? Uh, what? <laughs> what? What the fuck? What is this place? I'm so confused. A unique dessert, it said. Yeah, that's really odd. It's kind of cool. But why would it be a dessert? That's what I want to know. I bet that thing costs a fortune, though. Baumkuchen. It looks like a rainbow. So I'm, I'm going to assume it's a rainbow ingredient. <clears throat> so I'm going to hold on to that. I need to get home before the day changes. Gotta run off this log. Go, go, Power Ranger. Go, 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 Yeah, apparently the uh, giant crystal is a dessert. The more you know. I'm sure you can eat it, though I'm going to hold on to it. I feel like you have to, um, what do you call it, um, get it for the very last recipe. I can't blaze it, I'm allergic. <laughs> that sucks. Aww. Bedtime! Alright. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! It's Friday! Should have sold that. Alright, let's hold on to this guy. Let's pull this guy out. And then we need this stuff. Okay. Smith says scissor can play wrong with anybody. What? Lame. Hey, 
I have eight grand right now, eighty seven hundred. Nice. Let's throw these mushrooms into here real quick. It's red ribbon week. Smoking bad kids. It's probably the youngest person here. <laughs> That's funny. tree is bigger. I don't know why it's bigger than the orange tree. It doesn't make any sense. Our teacher makes us say hugs, not drugs. Wow, your teacher blows. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the sort of shit that makes you want to do drugs. <laughs> there, there. Oh, you can tolerate <laughs> that sort of shit. I will say, I didn't, there, there. like, the only thing I've ever smoked is weed, or the only thing I've ever done of that nature. Um, but I didn't do it until after high school, and even then, I didn't, there, there. it's not like, it's not like I blaze it every day. I've, I've only smoked, I've like barely broken into double digits the amount of times. Fun fact of the day. This is uh, today's real talk. <laughs> Torchic. I thought I'd talk to Torchic. That's a wild little ass over here. I'd say it's definitely something worth experiencing, but it's not, it's definitely not something you want to should do every day by any means i mean if you absolutely need it for like anxiety and stuff i should say like that sort of thing you know do do what you need to when you need to what 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 the f it just disappeared <laughs> what the hell literally just vanished. That was the weirdest thing. Who eats cocaine? <laughs> uh, me, actually. No. <laughs> My grave, we had an incident and a bunch of kids were eating cocaine. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Dude, I honestly thought you were talking about Archer. Because, um, Pam, Pam eats, is, <laughs> just like eats all the cocaine. <laughs> she, she loses so much weight because she's just a coke addict. It's hilarious. If you guys haven't watched Archer before, it's fucking hell. It's a great show. Like, How about how about this guys? How about we just how about we don't eat the cocaine? <laughs> See that's how you get stabbed. <laughs> what what do you mean don't eat the cocaine? <laughs> Stab you right in the chest. Good, now I can eat his cocaine too. <laughs> People are fucking crazy, man. Alright. Fun fact number two, I also eat cocaine, apparently. Yeah, man. It's, it's my bread and butter. Except in this case, it's my coke and my aim. My body is a temple, nothing bad to come in. I mean, that's respectable, honestly. But, I mean, bad... Co oh, I, uh, never mind. Cocaine, I would definitely say is bad. But, like, weed, I wouldn't say is bad. Um... I would say in great quantities, for sure, yeah, it is, and it's especially for like an extended period of time, but, um, I mean, it's an, it's a plant, really, like, and it doesn't kill you. Except lots of junk food. 
There you go, dude. Um, I don't, like, I know some aspects of Christianity say that, but it, I don't think it's necessarily specific to a religion. I think it's just, like, a state of mind sort of thing. Alright, well, I guess we're doing this. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's definitely something you'd probably want to avoid. Pick it up, damn it. Thank you. You fucking know. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Wow, he hasn't drank or anything, and he's 21. I think, I no, I think I drank by the time I was, I think I drank when I was 19. Yeah, because I was 18, I believe my last year of high school. So, yeah, I think I was 19 when I drank this time. Yeah, definitely. Like, thinking your body's a temple is definitely a respectable mindset, for sure. I know, I was, I was literally about to shove mayo back into the mayo maker. <laughs> oh, you gave this to me and I don't want it. <laughs> Some spiked carrot cake, damn. They call that edi an edible, in case you want to know your uh, your drug lingo. <laughs> Alright, so, we got a lot of good mayo today, that's kind of surprising, honestly. Alright, um, I guess we'll go into town, or go talk to Selena and give her all that stuff. Uh, I wouldn't say you're a pussy by any means for not smoking weed. <laughs> Fucking college. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, I don't know why it's such a common thing to, like, drink, like, relatively frequently. In my opinion, frequently is, like, multiple times a week. Um... Like, that's really common for people, like, my age, and I, I don't, I don't see it. Like, even at the end of, like, a day of work, like, the last thing I want to do is drink. Like, sometimes, like, I've, I've done it before, you know, I've drank, like, uh, some side, like, hard ciders, because I, I, I prefer those just because they're smoother and they taste better, and, um... I don't know, it's just, it's not appealing to me by any stretch of the imagination. And it just dehydrates you, like, it fucks with your body in general. Well, it's not really even addictions, it's just, um, I don't, it's, it's a cultural thing, really. Like, especially in the United States, like, drinking is such a huge culture thing. Which, honestly, is kind of sad. It, um... I mean, think about it, like, a lot of our holidays, like, you get drunk, Fourth of July, you get, you get drunk to celebrate the country, or the country's birth, and, um, uh, St. Patrick's Day, for whatever reason, we drink green beer, which is, which, the green beer, the green aspect, is literally an American tradition. They're not gonna do that shit in fucking Ireland, and it's just like, why do we do it? Uh, Cinco de Mayo isn't even a Mexican holiday, it's just another day for us to get drunk, and it's just like, <laughs> why? <laughs> it's like, like, we literally just have holidays to get smashed. <laughs> Alright, let's run up to the, uh... Stop pointing out our character flaws. <laughs> I mean, it's just something I think about, you know? It's like, because I, 
You know, I don't really have any real desire to drink. Oh, so yeah, if both your parents are that light, then yeah, you're probably a, like, you're probably a lightweight, man. <laughs> My people fought hard to... What are you talking about, Waka? <laughs> oh, is that what Cinco de Mayo is? Fifth of Me is, um, to keep the French out of Mexico? Is that really what it is? Well, even then, like, what... Like, uh, Okay, it, assuming it is a holiday, I'm, I'm assuming you're correct. Um, I, it'd be, I'd be um, hard pressed for you to just make up a fucking holiday. But even then, it's like, why get drunk to celebrate? You know. America doesn't have culture. Someone always says football and beer. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's pretty accurate. Football and beer is a good chunk of our culture, honestly. It's a good Maya. Oh, okay, well then, I did not know that. I think I heard somewhere that it was just like a bullshit holiday, but I didn't actually look it up, so I apologize for that. I've been, I've since been corrected. <laughs> but yeah, even in the sense of it being a holiday, um, in, since it was the battle between Mexico and France, why, you know, why drink alcohol, you know? I mean, throughout the ages, it's been understood like an ale or whatever is like, like a form of revelry, really. But, you know, why is that still a thing, in my opinion? Even football. Like, I'm pretty much just un-American. Like, I don't watch sports at all. Uh, I think I might as well just go ahead and upgrade something. I think I'll get a silver fishing rod. Let's do that. YOLO. Yeah, the video games and eating are more my thing. <laughs> uh, eating, I'm trying to get, like, a good mindset about all that stuff, but sometimes it's hard. <coughs> Uh, I wouldn't say fireworks is an American tradition. It's commonly associated with America, but uh, fireworks originated in China, so I wouldn't really say that's an American thing. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I've been blessed. My soul has been saved. <laughs> Dude, I hate sneezes. If there's one thing that could just disappear from like human functionality it would be sneezing i don't need garnet okay cool i can sell i want to keep the gold go. yeah i'll keep it i need to keep it i think it's that so much about game right now uh oh yeah well that's the thing is like it's it's also it's a combination of you working out and your age honestly um, cause I didn't, I didn't gain, well, I, I was a chubby kid until I did cross country and then it didn't matter like what I ate or anything. Um, and then I didn't gain weight until, um, probably like my second year. Well, I was working out a lot my first year of college, so probably like the second semester of college, which I was like, I think I was like 19, almost 20. All right, so let's put this away. I definitely want to catch another wood fish. I want to see if it costs a lot. It's a very pricey fish. As soon as you can sell the bad stuff out. No, I know. It's a, it's definitely like a, a useful thing as far as like dust and stuff, but as far as allergies, it's just annoying. Because it it thinks it's a problem, but it's it really isn't, because not everyone's allergic, you know? If it was that big of a problem, then people without allergies would just die. <laughs> that would suck. That would be such... That would be such a change of pace. Like, um... People are thankful that they're allergic. Because it allows them to get the stuff out of their system. 
That'd be crazy. An alternate universe right there, man. What's up, K-Mac? Think about yawning. Nah, I'm good, dude. That's actually- I'm actually pretty good about, um... Regulating, like, yawning and stuff. Like, even if I see people yawning and, like, hear it and everything, it's just, like... My mind- my, my body- I can feel, like, even right now, like, my body, like, wants to, but I know it's just kind of, like... I'm, t I'm basically telling my body to like, fuck off. Apparently I didn't water any of my plants. So, no, joke's on you, I'm not yawning. God damn it. <laughs> I'll yawn in a bit when I forget about it. Right now, I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> You're not gonna get me, man. Having summer kiss right now, and I'm gonna sleep for a high schooler. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Lamar. I yawned six times by typing that. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> oh, sweet. I can get some honey. Yeah, I've never really been mistaken for my age. The only time... Like, I've, I've been told I have, like, a baby face, but most of the time I don't even hear that, because most of the time I have facial hair going on, so you can't really even see it a good chunk of the time. Oh, at school specifically, I got you. Yeah. In general, I guess, I haven't been mistaken. For my age. People say I just look my age, I guess. I, I've actually had that happen before. I've had a friend of mine just be like, yeah, no, he looks, looks like he's, uh, how old he is right there. I think I was 21 at the time. <laughs> that's funny. I know. No, dude, that's... I've had, I got peach fuzz in the fifth grade, dude. I remember, because I was, uh, we were taking a trip to Disney World. And that was like the last time for a while that I've been to Disney. And my grandfather bought me like an electric uh, shaver thing. Yeah, so I, I had peach fuzz in um, fucking fifth grade. Ridiculous. Uh, I think she's saying 5'4 is average for a girl. Yeah. In, in case you didn't know, Leon, Lamart is a, uh, is a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> His mind's been blown. <laughs> Damn, K-Mac. You're hurting in the height category, man. <laughs> My life is going nowhere. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Aw, oh, damn. Apparently you can't get the honey at night. Well then. Yeah, Wetzel, you definitely were the uh the short one of the group. But you're not you're not even that short, honestly. Like you're only like an inch or two shorter than I am. Oh, okay. Good to know I'm gonna get a, a so-called sucky card. <laughs> That's fine. I, it doesn't matter. The fact that you're sending me a birthday card is like super nice. All right, so I'm gonna try and catch this stupid woodfish again. Hopefully we can get more than one. I don't think I have enough stamina for more than one actually. Oh well. <laughs> I came back. 
Yeah, there are some super short girls out there, K-Mag, so don't worry. Yeah, it's not too bad. I know a, I know a girl that's, uh, I think she's 4'9". She's like 4'9 or 4'10". She's actually uh, one of my followers. That's how I met her. And um, we used to chat a bunch. She's pretty chill. <laughs> Five sevens the the go to number for height around here apparently. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, let's see if we can get us a fish. Sweet, that didn't take long. I'm gonna go for a second one for shits and giggles. I don't think I'll be able to catch one, but I'm gonna try it. Good lord, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get a second one. Holy shit! 42 centimeters. This thing's barely over a foot. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty okay with my height, cause like, cause I haven't grown in a long time, and I was like just at the spot where like I'd have to like just kind of tilt my head a bit to not hit my head like going under like a bus, a bus door. Yeah, in high school. And um, <laughs> and like I I would see some of my friends just like and just like <laughs> right into it. And it's like, well, I'm glad I'm not that tall. Like, <laughs> you're a pedestrian. You mean you're a pediatrician, <laughs> sir? Check and see if I can s cook this wood fish real quick. <coughs> God. Yep. Good lord, it sells for 1600 <laughs> What do I write in Fluffy's card? Spoiler alert! Come on now. Well, I know you would, right? Probably something about sucking my dick. <laughs> or me sucking your dick. <laughs> I spoiled Pokemon for you? What? No, no, no. I didn't spoil it. I enlightened you. Yeah, I've been, uh, it's been Soul Silver that I've been streaming. Whoops, not that first. This first. I actually just, um, what do you call it? Oh, oh, the battle that I wanted you to watch. That's right. <laughs> Look how stupid that fish looks. There we go, a grilled wood fish. 
Probably like the most expensive fish in the game. All right, now we're gonna sell that bad boy because I don't need two. And I got my cooking recipe, so that's cool. We're gonna go to sleep. Yeah, dude, this woodfish is uh, it was hard to come by. You can only catch it at night, and you have to go to the harvest goddess's spring. Speaking of the uh, spoiling, um, I did I did a separate clip of my battle with Lance um, from Soul Silver, where I only used it's my fire type only run. So I did because it was so difficult. I made a clip specifically for my battle with Lance. Like, <laughs> God, so so rough. It's ridiculous. All right. New day. Well, I guess uh, we'll do one more day. It's getting pretty late over here. Saturday here as well. 18 minutes in. Alright, chickens. Zap this. First in line. There, there. There, there. Articuno. Time travelers. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's what's called, I can't remember what it is, it's like a date line, and it's basically the line on the globe that changes, it's basically where the day changes immediately, as soon as you cross the line, you switch days, it's pretty neat, because it's a 24, like there's 24 time zones, and so, you know, 24 hour difference. Um, so you literally like there's a line if you just cross it you it, your day changes so there, there. so if you want to be a time traveler you find that line just hop back and forth <laughs> it's Saturday it's Friday it's Saturday it's Friday <laughs> Yeah, I think that's right. Remember correctly. All right, take take your food. Maybe it's the International Dateline. I don't remember what it's called. It has a specific name. It's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. If I remember correctly. I think it's like exactly opposite of the Prime Meridian, which is straight through Britain. Straight through England, whatever the hell you want to call it. Alright. Yeah. Go back in time and do your homework. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck my homework. <laughs> it's so hit or miss whether or not, like, homework actually matters in classes. It's so stupid. Like, uh, get this. I had five homeworks for my summer class, right? Um... And ho homework was a pretty significant portion of my grade, too. It was like 30% of my grade. I skipped a homework on accident because I thought it was due a day later than it was. And I was going to do it that day. There, there. And um, so I got a zero. I got a zero on a fifth of my homework. And when it was 
calculated when it that zero was neglected out of my grade, I had an A minus in the course. When it was calculated into my grade, I got a B plus. It it shifted, <laughs> and um, when I got my actual letter grade, like after grades were sent out and that sort of thing, I got an A, and I was just like. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I, literally, I literally said that. I was like, you know, like, I'm cool with this, but this is fucking stupid. Yeah, like, and that's the thing. Like, it's, there's so many things about college that are just not accurate towards, like, your real work life. Like a test, for example. Like, in what work scenario, like, in, like, a practical sense, are you gonna have like 30% of your um, income based on two hours of work? You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always thought that was like the dumbest fucking shit. It makes me so mad. Yeah, yeah, Leon, I, I completely agree. Like, most of the time, it's just, it's temporary knowledge. Like, you binge for it long enough to take the test, and then you don't retain it. And it's really annoying. <laughs> Came back. Yeah, and that's, that's like, that's one of the things that's really significantly different about, like, high school and college. Not necessarily that they won't grade it, because, like, you will run into teachers like that in college, but it's just because they are sloppy with their filing and um, record-keeping and stuff. But in high school, at least, like, for me, my teachers gave way more of a shit about, like, how well I was doing than my college professors do. I can literally fail my class. I can just straight up get an F, stop showing up, stop turning things in. At my four-year university... They won't even email you. They, they, they'd be like, is, you know, I noticed you haven't turned anything in. Is everything okay? You're never going to hear that. Ever. Ever. But yeah, practical tests would be a lot better. But at the same time, it's just like, what, like, test would be practical? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, in most um, professions your tests like the way you're tested each day is probably going to be like a semester long project so like that's kind of what um they'll send you an email saying they still owe you money <laughs> or you still owe them money yeah i, I can totally see that <laughs> that's that's one thing that really annoys me about college is like the professors just assume um you're slacking off and you're just a fucking lazy student and they just don't give a shit and they're not paid to care like but that's the thing too is like um high school teachers get way less money and they care so much more and even even community colleges like i started a community college and i transferred into virginia tech and even my teachers there gave so much more of a shit as to whether or not i was actually successful and or if i retain the information because like i had uh and a base it was like an introductory economics course at my community college and i didn't write a paper 
that was like, I think it was like 15% of my grade or like 7% of my grade or something like that. And I didn't do it. But I, I did so well on my final that he was like, he, he, he understands the course material. And he just gave me an A. And, and it was just like, it was like, I don't know. It's just annoying that they're so particular about how things are graded and that sort of things. Because like certain things, like you can do incredibly well like, on the tests and like flub the homeworks or like do great on the homeworks and flub the tests and they won't they're not going to change it because it's like well that's the grade you got whatever fuck it <laughs> i'm gonna become a professional bagger at Publix. <laughs> but yeah honestly i would recommend to anybody to go to a community college first and uh, get an associates and then wrap up what you need to at a um, four year if if you can't just go straight into a job um, usually a four year degree is going to pay better though that's really the only reason I would ever suggest do doing that because like going to college is not a necessary thing you can go under an apprenticeship for something like welding and um Um, welding, like welders, make an ass load of money, because it's it's a difficult profession, and it's, it's definitely something that's uh, skill based, and so you can make a a ton of money just being a welder, and you just need to go under an apprenticeship for that sort of shit, and so you could basically start doing it immediately. Granted, you're not gonna get your full pay immediately, but. Um, you could start and whatnot so I don't know it's just weird because like in the United States specifically they put such a high focus on um, going to a four-year university specifically because like most people frown upon community colleges because they think it's a joke and really it's not you get pretty much the exact same quality education in a lot of cases if not if not better maybe because it, it's all dependent on the teacher it doesn't matter what school you're at, it depends on who the person is that's teaching it. So in the sense that each school is limited to its occupants, as far as like teachers, will give you an estimate as far as like how good of an education you're gonna get. But outside of that, it does not matter what school you go to. Some, I've honestly, most of my teachers at Virginia Tech have been, um, sub I would say either at the same level or even subpar to some of the teachers at my community college and it's bullshit because I pay like five times more a year than I would at the community college and it's just like for what it, it's literally paying for a name and then bullshit extracurricular stuff that they they force you to pay for because they don't tailor it specifically to the things that you're gonna do. So like, let's say you bought a parking pass, let's say you forked over $230, which is how much it costs for a year's parking at my school. Let's say you do that, and you, you're like, I'm never gonna take the bus, I'm only gonna use my car. They're gonna charge you $120 a year to use the bus. Doesn't matter if you actually use it. They're gonna charge you for it though. And it's just so obnoxious, like I fucking hate it. I did, I did a, um, a report on that, the finances, like um, optimizing them and rerouting it through like one of the things that you have to sign up for before you sign up for classes to let the school know like how much money they need to get from you. And the school, I estimated that each student would save half of what I, sa I would save personally and they would lose like $16 million and I was like, good fucking lord. Yeah, no, that's that's not a bad idea, Lamar, honestly. Because, like, it's really... The thing that matters about your degree is the name on it. You, the fact that your name and whatever school you went to's name is on it. So if you 
if you do that, if you do most of your education at a smaller comp or a college and then finish it at a big prestigious university, they're gonna be like, oh wow, you graduated from this pr big prestigious university. That's all that matters. That's it. Her grades could be a little better. Yeah. Um, I mean that tends to happen. Like my grades, my grades are okay. They're definitely not as good as I would prefer them to be. But um, I, I, I'm majoring in computer engineering, and it's a bitch. Especially because like, for most of the, the coding classes, like they have no idea how to even teach them. I've literally had like four classes start at the beginning of the semester and be like, look, like we're trying to, we're still trying to work out the kinks on like teaching this course. And so you guys are going to be our guinea pigs or something along those lines. And I'm just like, this is fucking bullshit. Like I'm literally paying like $10,000 a semester for between rent and tuition to go to the school. And it's just like, and they're just flubbing shit and it's just mediocre. I mean, like, I can sort of understand why that's the case, but it's still just like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, it's literally like $230 parking on my campus, and there's like, most of the parking is in on the corner of campus. So, not only do you pay that much for camp or for parking, but you have to walk like half a mile to get your to like the nearest class. <laughs> okay, not the nearest, but the nearest one's like a, a couple hundred feet, but still, it's it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, you can tell I'm a big fan of uh, the way colleges are set up. <laughs> this has uh, been my other real talk for the night. <laughs> College has a lot of shit that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Buy the flippy penguin. <laughs> honey in here. I like the fact that you can get different um, colors of honey. Kind of cool. I don't know if it matters. I think it might, actually. What do you Well, but college is not adulthood at all. You're still in this, like, bullshit atmosphere that pretends like it's while you're being an adult. But it, it honestly, mostly, it's college. The whole world is fucked. <laughs> Alrighty then. But, cause like, honestly, I can't wait to get out of college. Cause like, I've, I was forced to grow up really quickly. So school, like, to me, school has always felt like bullshit. Cause it's just not, it's not practical. In so many ways. Yeah, no, like, what Lamar was saying is like, you get to be your own person. You're in charge of your own life. That's the thing that I don't like about school, is you have to kiss a lot of people's asses to give for them to give you a letter. And you have to pay a lot of money to do it along the way. And, um, that's, that's not how life is. Like, I mean, granted, you may, like, kiss your boss's ass to get, like, a promotion, but you're making money. I'm literally paying money right now to do things that I should be paid for. And all I get, all I get for my, um, all my hard work is a letter. And as, like, an email. And it's like, no, nah. <laughs> that's, that's not okay. So... I, and I've, I've been in school, this will be, after this semester, it'll be six and a half years, just because I've, I've dealt with a lot of bullshit over the years. Um, only, like, a, a handful of it has been, like, directly my fault. They make every decision for me. Um... I honestly don't like, like, as soon as you get, like, a little bit of freedom, I'm sure you'll notice where it's just like, 
this is nice. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, I always hated being reliant on other people. And it was super nice being able to like build my schedule around myself and being able to uh, do things the way I wanted to and that sort of thing. But, you know, having to fit like a specific time schedule where it's like be home by this time or um, you, you have to do chores at this time or whatever, it's like, you know, I want control of my life. So, uh, most people don't, like, I'm gonna just go ahead and let you know, like, most people, especially at your age, don't know what they want to do. Honestly, as far, like, as far as I'm concerned, what you want to do is honestly just, just pick something, really. Um, pick something, like, for me, uh, it really depends on your family's, like, wealth status, honestly, where it's like, if you can mooch off of them and do, like, just creative stuff your entire life, fucking do it. I mean, if you have that ability, then you can. And if you want to, of course. But, you know, me, like, my family has not really been that well off. So I wanted to pick a profession that had, like, a good money background. And so I, I wanted to do some sort of engineering because my grades were good enough and I was smart enough to be able to pursue it. Which I was lucky with, honestly. And I think... Yeah. Knowledge is definitely something that can be acquired, but I think intelligence is a little yeah. bit different. Um, there's a sort of like creative aspect of thinking that all, some people just don't have that would make them a bad fit for engineering. Um, but yeah, I was I was yeah. lucky enough where it was something that I was able to do, and um, so I decided to pursue it because I want my money to be stable and that sort of thing. Guy who changes major eight times. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I mean, granted, I like, if you change it that many times, there's, it's probably not the fact, it, it's probably not the fact that you don't know what you want to do. It's probably you're afraid to commit to something because you're afraid that later you will regret it. And in which case, the more you do something, the better you get at it. This is the way I see it. The more you do something, the better you get at it. And the better you get at something, the more you like it. Uh, Cause like you're like, yeah, like I'm I'm good at this thing, and like you feel better about yourself, especially if it's something that a lot of people uh, hold as like a respectable thing. I'm not. Then again, that being said, I definitely wouldn't say like do something that other people want you to do. It's 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 hard. You have to figure it out along the way, like what you want to do. Yeah, so then you definitely would want something that would probably have, like, a safe background as far as, like, um, job security, and it makes a decent amount of money. But that, that, that is relatively wide in itself. Like, I mean, you can look up different things. Most things will point you towards a degree, but the, the annoying thing is, is that you can look that stuff up on, um... You can pretty much have an entire degree online without paying a dollar or going to a college because, like, MIT, for example, posts, it's like 80, I'm just going to guess it's like 80%, it's a majority of their classes. They have online content for them. So you can have a the equivalent of a degree from MIT and never have gone there, but it won't matter because you don't have a piece of paper to back it up. I was going to go into software engineering, but I'm bad at math. Well, yeah, if you, if you like if you like software stuff and you're good at math, then fuck it, go for it, man. It that like honestly, computer computer science, computer engineering, and like IT services are the I would say they're probably the safest profession to go for because everything is computerized nowadays. Like, there, you're not going to find, a, like, pretty much a single, um, whoops, not that, a single profession that doesn't use technology in one way or another. With a capital M. <laughs> it's necessary. But yeah, so, like, that, that was one of the reasons, well, granted, I, I went into computer engineering because I thought computers were really interesting because I'd played video games my entire childhood. And I wanted to know more about like how everything was done, and I don't regret that. I mean, it's been a bitch, like it's 
it's a struggle. Like, it's a difficult thing to learn. It's not a natural way of thinking. And, but it's interesting. Like, once you start to grasp, like, how a computer works, like, it's mind-boggling. Like, you get answers and you're just left with more questions. And it's really cool when you're able to get things to work um, by writing code. And then, like, you put something that's supposed to go into it. And then you get what you're supposed to get out. And it's just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and it's really neat. Um, but it's not for everybody. So, but basically what I'm getting at is like you just kind of have to play around like get an idea of something that you may be interested in try it out like and because that's what I did I originally went into college for mechanical engineering that's part of the reason part of the reason why my um, my time has taken so long um, I've been taking coding classes since I was about 11 damn then yeah, go for it, man. Like, honestly, the hardest thing about coding is your familiarity with it. So if you're really familiar with it, then it'd probably be a lot easier for you than it would be for a lot of people, including me. Like, it was it was really difficult for me to grasp for a good chunk of time, especially because my teachers didn't know how to fucking teach it. They would mostly teach the theory. The theory is easy, but, like, what I need is to see it actually applied, and most professors don't touch that shit, which pisses me off so much. But, whatever, that, that's different. So yeah, honestly, I would say that seems like a good direction for you to go if you have questions about what you want to do with your life. And that's the thing too, is like, your job, it's, it's a challenging field, but once you get the hang of it, you pretty much use the same algorithms to solve your problems day to day and so it's really not even that bad over time check ramsey the blacksmith i hope this is that seed guy and you know you get become friends with like intelligent people that are motivated and um probably like the same things you do if you like um a lot of techie stuff even if it's just like video games um so like and there are books upon books where it's like um you know surround yourself with people like if you want to be successful surround yourself with successful people and going into a successful profession is definitely a way to do that and so it's just like it's really a good way to set yourself up in my opinion and i'm really happy with um having stayed with it and whatnot But yeah, so, I don't know, that's kind of my opinion, It's just pick something that, like, you're sort of comfortable with, um, or something that you have a, an interest in, in, an interest in if you've never touched it before, um, and just play around with it. If it. You'll notice really quickly if you don't like it, but it sounds like you've coded for a long time, so shit, if you have kept on with it for that long, then it seems like it'd be a decent fit for you. <laughs> that's funny but yeah so that's that's my uh i think that's the end of the real talk and the end of the stream for today so um hey i feel like i'm like cutting this conversation down the middle almost like i feel like i'm cutting it off too quickly but um but yeah that's i think that's gonna be it for today it's getting a little late so uh thanks everyone for coming out it was a nice chatting with everyone and um having these somewhat intellectual conversations and or just talking about how you guys' day was and this sort of thing so uh hope you guys enjoyed watching my uh super concentration mode <laughs> for a little while and um yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i will hopefully see you guys tomorrow i'll probably be playing more uh, pokemon all right man yeah that works out but well, yeah, I'll probably be playing more Pokemon tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't already, be sure to follow, like, subscribe, whatever. Um, if you want to, feel free to check out my YouTube channel, which has like all my past shit. If you um, have it, if you want to see like some of the stuff that I streamed in the past. But yeah, 
So you guys, you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. But until then, take care and bye bye. Yeah, I'll see you today. <laughs> but yeah, see y'all later, guys. Bye now.